This here is a ghost story. But this ghost story is different from all the others. It's different because this one's all true. I know because I was there. It all happened right here in this very town. Across the bridge, over by the old graveyard. It was All Hallows Eve, or what people like to call Halloween. And it all happened down there. On this particular evening, there was a party going on at the home of a wealthy man named Baltus Van Tassel. The townsfolk came from all over to celebrate, and amongst these revelers was the new schoolmaster, Ichabod Crane. This blows. Now, Ichabod was a Brody, knock it off. I'm trying to hear this. It is kind of creepy if you think about it. It is kind of lame if you think about it. Some people say that he often resembled a crane while walking through town. Karen, let's go. You can go if you want, but I'm staying here. Now, Ichabod was understandably excited to be invited to this party as he was finally able to court the beautiful young daughter of its host. Katrina Van Tassel. Guys, can't we do this tomorrow night? Tomorrow night's the hayride. Besides, you said you wanted a scare, right? Well, I'm gonna give you one. Oh, uh-uh. What, are you scared? Yeah, that. And it's wrong to tromp around on someone's grave. There's that creepy old groundskeeper guy. He's got a point there, Broach. When we stuck in that one time, back in third grade. He was just trying to scare us. Dude chased us with an ax, man. Who does that? I'll tell you what. We'll go up, put our hand in, and we'll call it a night. What's the big deal with all of this anyways? The big deal is that you, Karen, and everybody else around here take the legacy of this town for granted. You act like it's just another place on the map. You're drunk. But it's not just another place on the map. This is the birthplace of the most famous ghost story there ever was. Ow, you're hurting me! This should be the end all, be all of Halloween. And what do we got to show for it? A junior boy storyteller and a hokey haunted hayride. Scott, could you please get this gorilla off of me? Hey, let her go, man. I'll tell you what, all it would take is one bad Halloween. Like maybe three kids go into a graveyard and only one comes back. Then people would know, then they would know what kind of town we live in. Go stick your hand in. What? You heard me. You go do it. See if anything grabs you. Show us how it's done. Spirit. See? Nothing. Oh my god! Oh my god, help me, please, guys, help! Jackass! What's wrong? Will you go? It was just a joke. 
Hey, where you going? You guys be careful out there. And remember, if you see the horsemen, make for the bridge. And as Ichabod recalled Brahm's horrible warning, he kicked and whipped and yelled at his horse, urging it to go faster. The headless horseman just behind him. Sparks flew from the hooves of the rider's unholy steed. And Ichabod looked up, and through the trees he could see the bridge. Ichabod and his horse dashed across the bridge. The headless horseman just behind him. Ichabod chanced to look back, expecting to see the fearful apparition gone. But instead, he saw the horseman stand up in his stirrups, cock back his arm that held the rider's bloody severed head with gore and gut still clinging to the skull. And he fired the hideous missile at Ichabod. And that was the last that anyone ever saw the old schoolmaster. Now, some say that Ichabod actually escaped the horsemen and left Sleepy Hollow to become a lawyer in New York, not far from here. While others say that it was Brahm who chased Ichabod out of town out of jealousy. But the old Dutch wives of these parts still maintain that Ichabod Crane, the new schoolmaster, was whisked away on that Halloween evening by the most horrific ghoul ever seen. The headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. was super. Thank you. Where's Dad? Oh, he wanted to come, sweetie. He was exhausted. I think the start of the season and the move and everything really took it out of him. You know. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Sure. See ya. I said I was sorry. What else do you want me to do? How could you just stand there and have him treat me like that? Hey, uh, he, he just gets carried away with this whole legend. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's proud of the history around here or something. Besides, you were having fun. No, I wasn't. Really? You know, somebody dared him to put his hand in the tomb. <laughs> Who was that? I just wanted to see if he'd get eaten. So, is there something to that whole scared sex thing? Maybe. Who's that? Ha ha, that's not funny, Scott. It's Brody. He's screwing around in Van River shit. Scott, please don't. I'm... Well, just stay here, right? I'm sick of this. Hey, Brody! Scott! The door's open. Spooky, you, you have me going for a second. Hey, Amber, come and check Already giving you a ride, you can <laughs> stop with the flattery. <laughs> no, 
no, I mean it though. You were really good. And thank you for the ride. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's no problem. So, uh, where's Brody? Didn't, didn't you guys, like, come together? No. Brody's got a short attention span. But then he's captain of the football team, so I guess you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> I guess. I just... I, I guess I thought you guys were, like, a... Like, a thing. No. We're not a thing. I just mean, you know, am I getting myself into trouble here? You in town? Already making moves on the quarterback's main squeeze? Okay, first off, I'm nobody's squeeze. And second... Brody isn't exactly my ideal. I like a guy who's interested in more than just my pom-poms. Maybe I should, I don't know, like, go for a coffee or something sometime. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just a little shaky. I'm fine. You sure you're all right? <laughs> you scared the crap out of us. Yeah. You okay? Well, I'm doing about as well as could be expected, which I, I, I don't suppose is all that good. How were you doing in the middle of the road? I could have killed you. I was listening, teacher. I was listening. Why are you calling me that? Ian, he's a gravekeeper, and he's obviously drunk. My name is Klaus Van Ripper, although that doesn't mean much to ye, and I'm not drunk. I do take care of the cemetery, and I need to talk to ye. There's something you need to know. Ooh. Ian, let's just get out of here. He's obviously drunk. Come on, let him have his bender. Let's go. I just about killed the guy, okay? We can't leave him out here if he's drunk. Shh! Quiet. Something's coming. Mm -mm. What the hell are you doing out here, huh? Shh, shh, shh. You hear that? What? Jesus. <laughs> You okay, Junior? You look like you've seen a ghost. You've been up in the yard, haven't you, son? What were you doing up there? Just trying to give Scott and Amber a little scare. Trying to instill a little history in them. You, if anybody, should understand that. You shouldn't be up in the yard. Not tonight. Not ever. But especially not tonight. Relax, Van Ripper. We didn't mess up any of your landscaping. Look, I'm sorry about shining you. No, it's okay. Ian was taking me for coffee. Uh, begging your pardon, ma'am, but you should go with young Vandress not here. I, I need to talk to the teacher alone. What? He's come back. He's come back for ye. I need to talk to you. Let's go. Ian, Ian. Oh, I, I can't just leave this guy in the middle of the road. Look at him. He's, he's obviously smashed. I don't want him to get by somebody else, all right? It, Rain check. Okay. You sure you don't want to sit, son? I can't. I'm already out way past my curfew. My dad is going to kill me. I, I don't even know why I came here in the first place. No, you don't, huh? Well, I think you do. It's your destiny. You can't run from your destiny, teacher. What the hell are you talking about? And what's up with all this teacher crap? <laughs> you are a stubborn one, aren't you? I have to go, OK? I I'm really sorry, but I do have to go. I call you teacher on account of that's what you are. Not by your trade, not even by your daddy's trade, but farther back. 
Yeah, we farther back than that. Your family lived here right in this house, nine generations back. A teacher, a man called Ichabod. <laughs> Ichabod? Mm. Like Ichabod Crane? Are, are you kidding me? Is this your big talk? My, my last name's not even Crane. Well, it ain't no time for kidding. I know your last name. I'll show you. Your last name? It's right. Maybe some other time, all right, Klaus? I gotta go, okay? Hey. Wait, teacher. Teacher, you got to listen to me. Now, listen. You gotta let me show you. Now, I know you don't believe me now, but if you'll just let me show you, in the graveyard, Irving's grave. It's covered with vines, and the vines is flowing with blood. Stop it, okay? You already messed up my night with Karen, all right? You made me drive all the way out here. I'm late. And why, huh? Because you wanted to get drunk. Oh. I gotta go, all right? Wait, 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 no. What? Well, you might make it. I, I, I don't feel nothing. Go on. Go on. And I ain't drunk. You hear me? I ain't drunk. Is that you? All right, Junior? You look like you've seen a ghost. Again. For Christ's sakes, man, I think you're dead in my car. Relax! The car's not worth but 500 bucks. What the hell are you doing out here? Just trying to warm up old Carter here. He's been itching to get out. Also needed to see if I could still see out this costume. Yeah, it looks really nice. Do you have a key for this gate? <laughs> nope. Nobody does. That gate's been locked up since forever. You gotta go back over the bridge. You know, man, I've been thinking. You should leave that to the professionals, honestly. Yeah? Well, I think you should stop hanging around Karen so much. You know, date somebody on your own level. My own level, huh? Look, man, we had a long talk. When I took her back home tonight, it was all about us at the homecoming. You know what, Brody? Karen's a big girl. And I think you should let her make her own decision, okay?
and I are going to have to have a little talk about this later, pal. Right now, you better get to sleep. I want you at practice tomorrow. I can't. You can, and you will. End of story. You broke curfew, and you owe me. You're going to be part of the team. I am part of the team, Dad. kid on like that. It's karmically unsound. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Miss Morality. Maybe I like him. He's funny, smart, and still in high school. You know, if you're trying to make Brody jealous, I could always set you up with one of Rob's friends. Thanks, but no thanks. I have this thing against guys who have Greek letters tattooed on their ass. Tattoos? Beats it. Hey! <laughs> hey. Hi! Nice outfit. Thank you. It's the pep rally today. You're coming, right? You know what? I, I'd like to, but I just really can't. It's for the football team and everything. I, I don't know. I just feel out of place. Oh, come on. Walk me to first, and I'll talk you into it. Good morning, fellow students, and welcome to the uh, Homeroom Bulletin. Don't forget, tonight is the annual Ghostly Hayride, and tickets are selling out fast. If you still want to go, come down to the student That's store true. as okay. soon as possible. Ian, yeah, listen. See you at the pep rally. It would mean a lot to me if you came, and you will not feel out of place. I promise. And... I'll be doing all my cheers for you. All your cheers for me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You guys seen Scott? I got first with him, and I need a copy of his homework. You were the one that left him in the graveyard last night, remember? <laughs> well, maybe him and Amber pulled an all-nighter. You know, I haven't seen Amber either. And she never called me back last night. Man, this is bad. Wait, do you think something happened to them? No. This is like the 50th time I've shown up without my homework. Coach is gonna flunk me. Unless... You got Valentine for geometry, don't you? Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. Give it up. You know what? Fine, all right? Just do me a favor. Will you get something wrong so that she knows it's yours at least? Hey, whatever, man. Okay, Mrs. Van Den Wick, I'll look into it. Meanwhile, you just sit tight and relax. Anything comes up, I'll call you. Okay, bye. Sheriff, you gotta put a stop to this hayride. It ain't safe for them kids to be up in the yard, not tonight. Hey, Van Ripper, it's a little early in the morning for this kind of garbage. He's come back. I'm telling you, he's come back. He's gonna be looking for a head. It ain't safe. Anybody up in that yard tonight is gonna be fair game. All right, I don't wanna go through this kind of bull crap again this year. But for the sake of repetition and clarity, Tonight is Halloween. Sheriff, there are vines growing out of Irving's grave. I'm telling you, the horseman has returned. Tonight is Halloween. And it's also the night of our annual ghostly hayride. And it's going to go off without a hitch. No pun intended. Just like it does every other year. Yeah, but, but this ain't no normal year. Not this year. Look, young teacher has come back and he's woke him up. Here, let me show you something. You see this? Huh? Look at the name on that. Right there. Where did you get it? Huh? Out of the mailbox. You see the name there? Klaus. The Cranston's are good people. And I'd like to make a good first impression with them. You going through the mailbox like some kind of inbred, well, that doesn't go good with my program. You're not listening to me, Sheriff. I'm telling you, you've got to stop this hayride tonight. Request denied. Request denied. All right, now I got some teenagers that are playing hooky I gotta tend to. You, you gotta go. You're gonna be picking up heads out of the graveyard. Yeah. Uh. I should only be so lucky, right? Teacher! What the hell are you doing here? We didn't finish our talk. Look, Klaus. We already discussed this. I'm not a crane, all right? I'm not. Oh, you are a crane. Yes, you are. Let me show you. Huh? You see? Ichabod left, and he changed his name right away. 
probably because he was worried about the horseman coming after him, that he named his first son Richard Cranson, meaning Crane's son. And then two generations later, his grandson went out west and changed his name to Cranston. That's he. Okay, you know what? All that means is that there really was an Ichabod and that maybe I'm related to him, but... This guy that wrote this book, what's his name? Washington Irving. Yeah, well, maybe he just knew Ichabod, huh? Use the guy's name. You ever think about that? Oh, he knew him all right. He wrote the story about him, but the legend is true all the same. Everything in it is true. Ichabod was killed by the horseman, right? There's absolutely no way he could have had kids or grandkids. You know, that's not true. The story says that he was never seen again. But not being seen again is not the same thing as not being alive. You take it, you read it, and you learn everything by tonight. You understand? trouble, mister. You said you'd be at the pep rally today. No, I didn't. Well, you were going to before Brody interrupted us. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> shouldn't you be there right now? Mm hmm Hey, I thought you knew that by heart. Oh. No, I just watch the cartoon like every Halloween, so... Okay, so how is this book more important than you coming to my pep rally? <sighs> that old guy Klaus gave it to me. I... Keeps telling me that I'm related to Ichabod or something. Ichabod Crane? Is there really such a guy? Apparently so. I mean, there's a whole book about him. But come on, what does Crazy Klaus know about that? He says he's related to Hans von Ripper. Who's Hans von Ripper? I guess just some guy that let Ichabod stay in his guest house. Hmm. Who knew? Anyway, there, there's lots of cool stuff in here, actually. Um, stuff about the bridge and how the horseman can't cross it, because if he does, he just, like, bursts into flames or something. Spontaneously combust. <laughs> okay, so what are my chances of getting a ride in that coffee? <laughs> well, I, I finished practice at like four, so does that sound good? Yeah, perfect. Cheerleading goes till about then, too. <laughs> That's if they don't fire you first. Fire me? No, I'm the best they got. <laughs> so you want to meet me at my car at like 4.30? Sound good? Yeah, okay. Hello, Ian. You two. Ian, I just wanted to tell you how excellent you were last night. Oh. Wasn't he? I told you. <laughs> I knew you were an actor the first time I laid eyes on you. You have got a lot of talent, my dear. Well, thank you. Um, it was actually a lot of fun. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. So, I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I know this is really last minute, and you can say no if you want to, but we just had a part open up on the hayride tonight. It's actually the role of the graveyard guide, and I was wondering if you might be able to help us out. It would be just fabulous. I thought Scott was going to do that. Well, he was, but he never came by to pick up his costume. Not to mention, there's a whole script to learn, and I know what a quick study you are. <laughs> it's just that there's a John Carpenter Film Festival thing on tonight, and I really wanted to watch it. Can you tape it? Please, Ian, I'm getting desperate here, and you would be so perfect. Come on, Ian. And you get to introduce the white ladies, too. Okay, fine. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Excellent. So you'll come by the drama room this afternoon and pick up your costume, okay? Absolutely. And uh, don't forget to invite me to the wedding. Oh, there's no wedding. Just a lot of sweaty sex. <laughs> oh. See, now, it's this kind of lack of commitment I'm talking about. This is what keeps you guys from being number one. What the hell's so difficult about making it to practice every day? Huh? Now, you got 10 minutes to get your butts on that field. And I don't want to see any screwing around. Ben, get in. Damn it, Hartley. Loosen the wrist. You 
See, see what I told you? Just relax. Use your opponent's momentum to your own advantage. Again. That move is completely illegal and you'd be disqualified in competition. However, I do admire your instincts. Ian, take a break. Jocks. You guys are big, but you're still playing soft. When I played ball, you had to be tough as nails. You had to have a hard head. All right, now I want you to get out there and focus on your power today. Okay? All right. Thanks, Van Why don't you go out and keep your eye on those guys before they hurt themselves? Yeah, sure, Coach. Listen, pal. I don't care what you do in your spare time. You want to waste it with comic books and horror movies? Fine. But when you're at school, you're going to get your butt to practice. I was at practice. As long as you live under my roof, you're going to quit acting like an idiot. That means no more fencing. You're on JV football. And I guess I'm going to have to find another place to live. Yeah? Well, you think about it. I will. Ian? My dad pulled me out back, what I say. Hey, at least you don't have to carry these things around. <laughs> so nice. Mm -hmm. You want to trade? OK. Why are you laughing? No reason. <laughs> Show me your stance. On guard. Good? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Your turn. All right, you asked for it. Headless, horseman, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Go! <laughs> horseman. <laughs> Very good. Cute. Very cute. Your dad would be so proud, Junior. Thanks. Brody, what do you want? Can I talk with you for a second? Yeah, sure, go ahead. In private? She's all yours. Look, it's about the homecoming. I mean, everybody knows you're the only one I can go with. So, would you settle for a maybe? Maybe? What do you mean, maybe? Would you got, like, a better offer or something? Well, there may be a dark horse in the running. Junior, <laughs> you're joking, right? You've been hanging around him just to get me jealous. Look, it worked, OK? Now let the guy go and let him get over you. You need to get over yourself. Mrs. Swerfler said that you'd be taking Scott's spot tonight. Yep. I think you are, man. You're not even from here. Anyway, you screwed up. Don't build me up right. I'm gonna beat your ass. Okay. Thanks, Brody. That's that's nice. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> you know, I used to think his entire life revolved around football. But now I think he just lives to put on that stupid headless horseman costume. school. Fine. You know, Dad won't quit it with this football thing. He just wants your high school experience to be something to remember. Yeah, my high school experience. I'm gonna go see Hayride tonight. You are? That's yeah. great. What is it? It's like this annual, like, haunted house thing our school does. Anyways, the drama teacher asked me to do it, so. I'm sure dad will just be thrilled. Give him a chance, Ian. 
He does love you. He just has his own way of showing it. Yeah. Anyway, can you do me a favor? Sure. I set up the VCR in the back, and, you know, there's a couple of movies I want you to tape. Just please, whatever you do, do not let Dad touch it, okay? Listen ye well, and heed my tongue. Your journey into darkness has just begun. For as we travel through the graveyard tonight, hold on to your loved ones very tight. For as the dead arise from sleep, it's towards the light that they will creep. And if this truck should have a wreck, they'll sink their teeth into your neck. And now we begin. The ghostly hayride. <laughs> now we just have to head down this patch of road right here towards the bridge. And you should know that this is the same road that Ichabod traveled upon that fateful Halloween night. Woods area of Sleepy Hollow has long been known as a place densely populated by spirits and specters of every imaginable shape and size. Watch yourself. is a section of the haunted wood that is inhabited by the most beautiful ghost of all. The ill-fated bride who was slashed, murdered by her own groom-to-be, and discarded in a lake not far from here. If you look closely, you can see the unearthly beauty right now. Folks, seems like we almost made it out of the haunted woods. Alive. But it seems like we've forgotten one thing. The most fearsome legend in all of Sleepy Hollow. The legend of... came here for. Besides, there's nothing wrong with a little scare every now and then. You're a jackass. All right. 
Looks like we made it out of the haunted woods alive. But I'll tell you what, the night's young, and the headless horseman's still out there looking, looking for a head. Oh, oh. oh honey, that was even better than last night. Thanks. I'd go again, but your dad's waiting for me to come home and help him with the trick-or-treaters. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah fine. Thanks for coming. Sure. Teacher! I, I... I need to talk to you, now. It's your chance. Take it. Have a good time. Well, hello, Mrs. Van Etten. So glad you could make it. Yes, well, someone had to. I, I hope you enjoy it. Doubtful. I'm only here to make sure none of those morons damage anything. And those tombstones, some of them are over a hundred years old. No, not to worry, Mrs. Van Etten. I handpicked everyone who's involved. Well, thank your lucky stars. What do you want me to do? I, I, I can't just take off. I'm, I already made a commitment to do this. It's too dangerous, teacher. You can't go up there. You can't take the chance. Listen to me, Klaus. This isn't funny anymore. Forget the hayride. You've got to come with me. But I can't go. I already told her I would do it, right? See you after. Ian, you're getting rave reviews. Thanks. Hello, Mr. Van Ripper. I, I, I was telling young teacher here that you got to call this whole thing off. You can't go on this hayride. I can't let him go up there. Mr. Van Ripper, you know we can't do that. Now, what is this all about, anyway? The vines are growing. They're full of blood. They're feeding the horseman, and he's getting stronger. I read your book. It did not say one thing about vines in the entire book. Not everything has got to be in the book. Woo! Excuse me, Sheriff. What can I do for you, Nancy? Duncan, our good groundskeeper here seems to be hitting the bottle again. I am not drunk. Listen, I'm telling you for the last time. The Dark Rider is afoot. Now, don't be damn fools. Klaus, old buddy, I can't have you spoiling the hayride like that. What do you say I give you a ride home? No, 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 no. Now, listen to me. You're the only one that can save us. You got to stand up to him. You got to face him. If you don't face him, all of us are gonna die. Do you hear me? We're gonna die. All right, Klaus, let's say me and you take a walk up to the cemetery and clear all those kids out. Would that make you feel better? Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, what about the teacher? The teacher will be fine. Let's me and you do that. All right. All right? Come on. Thank you. You're doing a wonderful job, my dear, but just FYI, there's a very grumpy, very influential old lady on this one, so now would be a great time to shine. Listen ye well and heed my... Excuse me, beautiful boy. Excuse me, but this hay stinks. <sighs> okay, um, here's what I can do for you. I'll talk to the organizers when we get back. Is that all right? And I'll get it all taken care of. Yes, you sh be sure to do that. Okay. <sighs> Listen ye well and heed my tongue. Our journey through darkness has just begun. As we travel through the graveyard tonight, hold on to your loved ones with all your might. Sorry, you two. This one's all full. What? Come on, Mrs. Worthen. How long till the next one? Not until next year, I'm afraid. That was the last trip. I'm sorry. We can still go. We'll just make our own tour. I bet there's nobody watching the gate. We could just climb over. Erica, the thing is sold out. Let's just go home. Maybe we could rent a couple of scare flicks, make some margaritas or something. It'll be fine. You sound like my parents. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Let's put the fun back in funeral. Teach me the meaning of the word Bone yard. <laughs> Erica. I can't believe it. You're scared. You are, aren't you? You're afraid to go into the graveyard like a little bitch. I'm not a little bitch. 
Yeah? Prove it. Okay. What are you doing, Sheriff? You're heading the wrong way. You're going back to town. Just take it easy. Take it easy, Klaus. Good night's sleep will take care of everything. You haven't heard a word I've said. I'm telling ye, the horseman is back. He is on the prowl. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow will be Brody Vanderveer, the captain of the varsity football team again. But tonight, can't you just let the kids have their fun, huh? Oh, yeah, they'll be having loads of fun once them head starts to roll. Uh, Sheriff. Don't stop. Don't stop. We gotta go back. We gotta go back and warn them. What is that? Some costume, ain't it? Sheriff, don't get out of the car, dude! Sheriff! Hey, Brody! Aren't you supposed to be up in the forest? You're gonna disappoint a lot of folks if they don't get to see the old horseman. Hey, don't you think you ought to be getting up there? out here. I'm not exactly inspired to take my clothes off. Okay. Do you want to get out of here? No. I've got a better idea. What? In there? Sure. Why not? I don't know, it's a shed in the middle of a graveyard. I know. What do you say, Stead? Little doggy style with the dead? Little zombie fromby? <laughs> Could be kind of kinky. We almost made it out of the haunted woods. But it seems we've forgotten about one thing. The most fearsome legend in all of... Oh, no! No, 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 no. He's going to kill us! He's going to kill us all! The hell are you talking about? The Headless Horseman! There's no such thing as the Headless Horseman. Then what the hell is that? Start the truck. I'm supposed to wait for the horse. Give me your head. I need a head. Start the goddamn truck right now. Hey, who's that guy? Bro, 
Yuri, no! God, that looks real. And that is real! and get back in the car. No way! Not until you tell me what's going on! There's no time! Just get back in the car! Ian, I'm staying with you! Gordon, get out of here. We'll lead him the other way. Go on! Hurry up! Let's go. Come on. Help me. Help me. Get me out of here. Any idea how to do that? Yeah, go around the driver's side. It's open. You can unlock the doors from there. Don't pay any attention to him. You can't help him now. Open the door. What are you talking about, man? There's a dead body right here. Come on, son. Open the door. You can do it. I know you can. You can do it. Unlock it. There. There. 
There you go. Now, we gotta get my axe. We gotta help young teacher, or else everybody's gonna die. You forget that, man. I'm going back to the good side of the bridge. Listen, hey, there are people up there. Your girl is up there, too, you know. She's in trouble. What are you gonna do about her? She, she made a decision. She chose Junior. Listen, son, this is real. Now, look, you're part of a new legend, young Vandersnapper. When people tell your story a hundred years from now, you want to be known as a coward or as a hero? All right. All right, damn it. Let's do it. That's the story. Yes, you can. Just please get up, okay? Please. Oh, shit. All right. There's a cabin over there, all right? Just go over there and lock yourself. No, 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 Anna, I'm staying with you. No, you're not, okay? Just go. I'll be right back. Hey, I'll be right back. I promise. Just go. Lock the door. Step lively. Get away from the window. Okay, okay. to the bridge as fast as you can. You're not coming with us? No, sir. Me and the teacher got to meet this thing head on. Go on. God, you kill him. You can't kill what's already dead. Let's get out of here. <gasps> Come on, Klaus. What? Come on, get up, get up, get up. Here, here. It's over, all right? I promise you, it's over. Over? Nothing's over. What are you talking about? We made it across the bridge. The horseman has no powers over here, right? Yeah? What about them hayride people? I busted the gate. They all got out. You did what? I wrecked the fence. The fence that leads into the graveyard. Oh, dear Lord. 
What? Dear Lord, what? The horseman wants me, right? I'm on the other side of the bridge. There's absolutely no way he can get me here, right? No, teacher, I ain't that particular. You may be the last in the line, and he'll take your head if he's given a choice. But tonight, that horseman wants a crane. Any crane will do. We need something from the horseman's own time. Where the hell are we going to find something from the Revolutionary War? Right here, right here. Now, this here is my great, 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 and uh, it's my great, 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 oh, the hell with it. It's an ancestor of mine. He's in there with a full military uniform, and there's a sword. Now, we got to push this thing off now. Everybody pull together. Push. <laughs> Son, grab that sword. Go on. <coughs> now, you got to run this straight through the demon's heart and send him straight back to hell. You think you can do that? Yeah. What's this? It's the program Ian wanted to watch. He's got it all set up to tape. I don't want to watch this. Where's the remote? Come on, give it to me. No. Lucy, give it to me. No. Give it to me. Give it to me. No. I'll get it. Trick or treat! Honey, we got customers. Are you the dad? No, I am. Ah. Oh, wow. Look at you guys. Great costumes. Oh, well, thanks. Carl, turn it back. Honey, don't start. Come on. Ah. Honey, it's just more trick-or-treaters. You get it. Carl, you didn't go to either of his things. The least you can do is let me tape his program. Here. Okay, you little blockheads. It's called trick or treat. If I give you candy, you're supposed to go play Ding Dong Ditch somewhere else. Okay. Okay, no more candy. See how you like the dark. No next bastards. Everything okay? Just some kids screwing around. It's what Halloween's for, right? Come on. When was the last time we watched a scary movie. I never liked these things. What are you talking nah. about? You used to take me to these all the time. Yeah, well. 
Somebody told me girls get horny when they're scared. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. Ian, you're acting like an idiot. Ian. Mom, get out of here. Damn. Dad, go. Damn those kids. You know that as well as I do. If he's gone off, it's to gather more strength so we can lop off more heads and feed the vines. What the hell am I supposed to do now, huh? You got to go after them. Are you crazy, old man? My son's not going after that lunatic. Oh, no. He ain't going alone. You're going with him, coach. Nobody's going anywhere. Not until we call the police. Yeah. Except that the sheriff is lying out there with a stump where there used to be a head. What? Dad, it's us. We're the only ones that can stop him. Nobody else. Just us, Dad. What do we got to do with this? We're cranes. We're descendants of Ichabod Crane. Ian, you sound crazy. What the hell are you talking about? I know how we sound, Dad. I know. What makes you think we'd be able to stop him? Because, Dad, we've done it before. And we have to do it again. We have to. Just trust me, OK? Please. with you, huh, you sick son of a bitch? You gonna take the head of a crane when he's knocked out, huh? Why don't you come and get mine, you bastard? Come on! i 
Can you hear me? I beat you! Crane's beat you again. How do you like it, huh? We beat you! Real proud of you, teacher. You've done good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> There's your dad. Ed! You okay, Dad? Hell yes. Took a lot worse when I played ball. Back then, you had to be tough as nails. You had to have a hard head, too, right? far greater than the warm, supple embrace of tender woman flesh. Yeah, well, you just remember our deal, Van Ripper. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are a hero. You are a hero, young Vander. Uh, Vier. Whatever. That's the way I'm going to write it. <laughs> Ghost, wait up. Are you two planning on making babies? <laughs> um. I was actually thinking about taking her to the homecoming dance first, but, you know. Well, no, I mean in the future, like, because if you are, you got to promise me something. What's that? They got to have your last name, ma'am, or else you're gonna have to hyphenate. I ain't going through this again. Is that a deal? Yes, that's a deal. You promise? Yes. <laughs> deal. Let's take you home, huh, Klaus?
This here is a ghost story. But this ghost story is different from all the others. It's different because this one's all true. I know because I was there. It all happened right here in this very town. Across the bridge, over by the old graveyard. It was All Hallows' Eve, a 
or what people like to call Halloween. And it all happened down there. In the hollow. On this particular evening, there was a party going on at the home of a wealthy man named Baltus Van Tassel. The townsfolk came from all over to celebrate, and amongst these revelers was the new schoolmaster, Ichabod Crane. This blows. Now, Ichabod was a Brody, knock it off. I'm trying to hear this. It is kind of creepy if you think about it. It is kind of lame if you think about it. Some people say that he often resembled a crane while walking through town. Karen, let's go. You can go if you want, but I'm staying here. Now, Ichabod was understandably excited to be invited to this party as he was finally able to court the beautiful young daughter of its host. Katrina Van Tassel. Guys, can't we do this tomorrow night? Tomorrow night's the hayride. Besides, you said you wanted a scare, right? Well, I'm gonna give you one. Oh, uh-uh. What, are you scared? Yeah, that. And it's wrong to tromp around on someone's grave. There's that creepy old groundskeeper guy. He's got a point there, Broach. When we stuck in that one time, back in third grade. He was just trying to scare us. Dude chased us with an ax, man. Who does that? I'll tell you what. We'll go up, put our hand in, and we'll call it a night. What's the big deal with all of this anyways? The big deal is that you, Karen, and everybody else around here take the legacy of this town for granted. You act like it's just another place on the map. You're drunk. But it's not just another place on the map. This is the birthplace of the most famous ghost story there ever was. Ow, you're hurting me! This should be the end all, be all of Halloween. And what do we got to show for it? A junior boy storyteller and a hokey haunted hayride. Scott, could you please get this gorilla off of me? Hey, let her go, man. I'll tell you what, all it would take is one bad Halloween. Like maybe three kids go into a graveyard and only one comes back. Then people would know, then they would know what kind of town we live in. Go stick your hand in. What? You heard me. You go do it. See if anything grabs you. Show us how it's done. Spirit? See? Nothing. Oh my god! Oh my god, help me, please, guys, help! Jackass! What's wrong? Where you go? It was just a joke. Hey, where you going? You guys be careful out there. And remember, if you see the horsemen, make for the bridge. And as Ichabod recalled Brahm's horrible warning, he kicked and whipped and yelled at his horse, urging it to go faster. The headless horseman just behind him. Sparks flew from the hooves of the rider's unholy steed. And Ichabod looked up, and through the trees he could see the bridge. Ichabod and his horse dashed across the bridge. The headless horseman just behind him. 
Ichabod chanced to look back, expecting to see the fearful apparition gone. But instead, he saw the horseman stand up in his stirrups, cock back his arm that held the rider's bloody, severed head, with gore and gut still clinging to the skull. And he fired the hideous missile at Ichabod. And that was the last that anyone ever saw the old schoolmaster. Now, some say that Ichabod actually escaped the horsemen and left Sleepy Hollow to become a lawyer in New York, not far from here. While others say that it was Brahm who chased Ichabod out of town out of jealousy. But the old Dutch wives of these parts still maintain that Ichabod Crane, the new schoolmaster, was whisked away on that Halloween evening by the most horrific ghoul ever seen. The headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. Hey. Oh, honey. That was super. Thank you. Where's Dad? Oh, he wanted to come, sweetie. He was exhausted. I think the start of the season and the move and everything really took it out of him. You know. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> mm. Thank you for coming. Sure. See you. Look, I said I was sorry. What else do you want me to do? How could you just stand there and have him treat me like that? Hey, uh, he, he just gets carried away with this whole legend. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's proud of the history around here or something. Besides, you were having fun. No, I wasn't. Really? You know, somebody dared him to put his hand in the tomb. <laughs> Who was that? I just wanted to see if he'd get eaten. So, was there something to that whole scared sex thing? Maybe. Who was that? Ha-ha, <laughs> that's not funny, Scott. Brody. He's screwing around in Van Ripper's shit. Scott, please don't. I'm... Well, just stay here, right? I'm sick of this. Hey, Brody! Scott! The door's open. Spooky, you, you have me going for a second. Hey, Amber, come and check So, uh, where's Brody? Didn't, didn't you guys, like, come together? No. Brody's got a short attention span. But then he's captain of the football team, so I guess you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> I guess. I just... I, I guess I thought you guys were, like, a 
like a thing. No, we're not a thing. I just mean, am I getting myself into trouble here? You in town, already making moves on the quarterback's main squeeze? Okay, first off, I'm nobody's squeeze. And second, Brody isn't exactly my ideal. I like a guy who's interested in more than just my pom-poms. I mean, I should, I don't know, like, go for a coffee or something sometime. Oh my god. Are you alright? Yeah, 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 I'm just, I'm just a little shaky, I'm fine. You sure you're alright? <laughs> You scared the crap out of us. Yeah. You okay? Well, I'm doing about as well as could be expected, which I, I, I don't suppose is all that good. How were you doing in the middle of the road? I could have killed you. I was listening, teacher. I was listening. Why are you calling me that? Ian, he's a gravekeeper, and he's obviously drunk. My name is Klaus Van Ripper, although that doesn't mean much to ye, and I'm not drunk. I do take care of the cemetery, and I need to talk to ye. There's something you need to know. Ooh. Ian, let's just get out of here. He's obviously drunk. Come on, let him have his bender. Let's go. I just about killed the guy, okay? We can't leave him out here if he's drunk. Shh! Quiet. Something's coming. Okay, Junior? Look like you've seen a ghost. You've been up in the yard, haven't you, son? What were you doing up there? Just trying to give Scott and Amber a little scare. Trying to instill a little history in them. You, if anybody, should understand that. You shouldn't be up in the yard. Not tonight. Not ever. But especially not tonight. Relax, Van Ripper. We didn't mess up any of your landscaping. Look, I'm sorry about shining you. No, it's okay. Ian was taking me for coffee. Uh, begging your pardon, ma'am, but you should go with young Vandress not here. I, I need to talk to the teacher alone. What? He's come back. He's come back for ye. I need to talk to you. Let's go. Ian, Ian. Oh, I, I can't just leave this guy in the middle of the road. Look at him. He's, he's obviously smashed. I don't want him to get by somebody else, all right? It, Rain check. Okay. You sure you don't want to sit, son? I can't. I'm already out way past my curfew. My dad is going to kill me. I, I don't even know why I came here in the first place. No, you don't, huh? Well, I think you do. It's your destiny. You can't run from your destiny, teacher. What the hell are you talking about? And what's up with all this teacher crap? <laughs> you are a stubborn one, aren't you? I have to go, OK? I I'm really sorry, but I do have to go. I call you teacher on account of that's what you are. Not by your trade, not even by your daddy's trade, but farther back. Yeah, we farther back than that. Your family lived here right in this house, nine generations back. A teacher, a man called Ichabod. <laughs> Ichabod? Hmm. Like Ichabod Crane? Are, are you kidding me? Is this your big talk? My, my last name's not even Crane. Yeah, well, it ain't no time for kidding. I know your last name. I'll show you. Your last name? It's right. Maybe some other time, all right, Klaus? I gotta go, okay? 
Hey. Hey, teacher. Teacher, you got to listen to me. Now listen. You got to let me show you. Now, I know you don't believe me now, but if you'll just let me show you, in the graveyard, Irving's grave, it's covered with vines, and the vines is flowing with blood. Stop it, okay? You already messed up my night with Karen, all right? You made me drive all the way out here. I'm late. And why, huh? Because you wanted to get drunk. All right. I gotta go, all right? Wait, 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 no. What? Well, you might make it. I, I, I don't feel nothing. Go on. Go on. And I ain't drunk. You hear me? I ain't drunk. Is that you? All right, Junior? You look like you've seen a ghost. Again. For Christ's sakes, man, I think you're dead in my car. Relax! The car's not worth but 500 bucks. What the hell are you doing out here? Just trying to warm up old Carter here. He's been itching to get out. Also needed to see if I could still see out this costume. Yeah, it looks really nice. Do you have a key for this gate? <laughs> nope. Nobody does. That gate's been locked up since forever. You gotta go back over the bridge. You know, man, I've been thinking. You should leave that to the professionals, honestly. Yeah? Well, I think you should stop hanging around Karen so much. You know, date somebody on your own level. My own level, huh? Look, man, we had a long talk. When I took her back home tonight, it was all about us at the homecoming. You know what, Brody? Karen's a big girl. And I think you should let her make her own decision, okay? this later, pal. Right now, you better get to sleep. I want you at practice tomorrow. I can't. You can, and you will. End of story. You broke curfew, and you owe me. You're gonna be part of the team. I am part of the team, Dad. Ian! 
believe you're leading the poor kid on like that. It's karmically unsound. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Miss Morality. Maybe I like him. He's funny, smart, and still in high school. You know, if you're trying to make Brody jealous, I could always set you up with one of Rob's friends. Thanks, but no thanks. I have this thing against guys who have Greek letters tattooed on their ass. Tattoos? Beats it. Hey! <laughs> Hey. Hi. Nice outfit. Thank you. It's the pep rally today. You're coming, right? You know what? I, I'd like to, but I just really can't. It's for the football team and everything. I, I don't know. I just feel out of place. Oh, come on. Walk me to first, and I'll talk you into it. 